Hello and welcome to this video. This is a Sargent and Greenleaf combination padlock. It's the model 8077. And in this video I will change the combination. Um, I'm making this video first for your entertainment, hopefully, uh, but also as a documentation for what I'm doing, because if I do something wrong, I have the chance to look it up afterwards and maybe fix it. So, uh, current combination is 25-0 and I will try to change it to 30-10-40. So, I will read through the manual and do step by step what I'm uh, told to do. So, I will read loudly what I what is written here so using the exist <coughs> I will start using the existing combination open the lock as described in the opening procedure so you have to turn at least four times in the counterclockwise direction then stop at 24 so I will use the that, that index which is the opening index and then back to zero and pull the shackle. All right. Second, use the screwdriver, and there is a tool that comes with the lock, which is used for uh, changing the combination. And this part here is uh, called the screwdriver. So use the screwdriver and to change uh, end of the change key to turn the cover locking screw clockwise until it comes to a complete stop. Okay. That's the screw that is mentioned in the description, and I will turn it until it comes to a complete stop. I think that's enough. Now remove the padlock's rear cover plate by sliding it upwards. Oh, not yet complete. All right, so it comes off. Um, next, turn the padlock's cover screw counterclockwise, backing it out of the lock body as far as possible. It does not have a positive stop. Okay, so counterclockwise until it comes out. I should be using a better screwdriver here. But it works. Okay, no positive stop, so it's an endless screw here at that point. Okay, next close the shackle. Okay, I'll close the shackle. Open, uh, uh, no, I cover the opening index, mark with a small piece of paper or thumb to prevent the possibility of dialing the number to the opening index. So when you change the combination, you need to use that index here and not this index. So I will cover it with a piece of paper to not use the wrong index. Like so. Okay. Then dial the ex existing combination to the changing index. All numbers of the combination, including the last turn to zero, are used in the combination changing procedure. Okay, so now I will dial to that index. So many, many turns in this direction. I will stop at 25. Here we are. It's. Oh, I just uh, pushed the the padlock towards the, the the cover here, so that I can see the the numbers a little bit better. So I will stop at twenty five and go back to zero. So okay. Then, 
If the lock is new and just being put into service, the single number 25 is the combination. Turn and so on and so forth. Um, okay. Do not pull the shackle. Okay, I do not pull on the shackle. So, next is use the elbow of the change key to turn the keyhole screw on the back of the lock clockwise to the open position. Okay, so that's the elbow and I turn it to the open position. Uh -huh. So now this, this hole here gets free and that's what this uh, screw does, it opens that hole here. And that's for inserting the change key. So make sure that it's still zero. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, clockwise the open position. It will, it will. If it will not turn, repeat the procedure and set. But it turns, so I can continue. Insert the change key tip first into the change key hole in the back of the lock. The change key is probably seated when the tap of the key is fully inside the lock. Turn the key clockwise one quarter turn. Okay. So now I think this is the right way to insert it. Okay, a quarter to into the clockwise direction. Wow. All right. That's exciting. Okay, so this is done. Set the new combination as follows. So now I'm able to set the new combination. Turn the dial left until the first number of the new combination aligns with the changing index to the fourth time. So I will change it to the left many, many times. I think this might be sufficient. So the first number is 30. I will stop at 30. Here we are. So then turn the dial right until the second number of the new combination aligns with the changing index the third time. Okay, it's 10. First time, second time, third. All right. Turn the dial left until the third number of the new combination aligns with the changing index the second time. So that's 40. First time, second time. Turn the uh, turn the dial clockwise until zero aligns with the changing index the first time. All right. So. Once new combination is set and zero is aligned with the changing index, turn the change key clock counterclockwise one quarter turn and remove. Do not the keyhole screw at this time. Okay, I will be careful. Like so. And uh, and remove. Okay. And remove. And remove. Okay. To ensure you have correctly set the combination, you should once again completely real redial the new combination as directed in the in step ten. Um, 
Reinsert the change key fully into the lock, but do not turn. If the key will fully insert, you have set the new combination correctly. Okay. Okay, so now I will try to set the new combination again, which is 30, 10, 40. Thirty uh, first, second, third, forty, one, and two, and back to zero. Here we are, and now we have to make the test if the change key will go in all the way. And it does. Okay. And I removed it and it's still zero. Um, so what next? Remove the change key and again dial the new yeah, that's what I did. No. Remove the change key and again dial the new combination, including the final turn to zero to the changing index. Use the change key elbow. Turn the keyhole screw to the closed position and close the shackle. Didn't open the shackle. So once again, rem so remove the change key, that's what I did. And again dial the new combination to the changing index. Okay, that's what I do. What I will do now. It's thirty, ten first, ten second, ten third, then forty, one, two, and to zero, to zero. Um, Use the change key elbow, turn the keyhole screw to the closed position and close the shackle. I did not open the shackle. Hmm. So can I? No, I will just... It's in the closed position. Okay. The keyhole screw will not return to the closed position, the combination, blah, blah, blah. Remove the tape or your thumb from the opening index. Dial the new combination to the opening index following the steps in the opening procedure and pull, the sh pull sharply on the shackle to open the lock. Okay, now I'm very nervous. So it's 30, 40, no, 10, for, uh, I will start again. So 30, 1, 2, Three, forty, forty, and zero. Yeah, opens. Hey, <laughs> all right. So the remaining steps are just to reassemble the lock. Yeah, I'm very happy that I could change. Um, successfully this combination. Hope this is um, 
helpful for some of you. Well, thanks for watching. Happy whatever, turning, dialing, picking and so on. Bye bye.